What's going on guys? Today we are back with another video. As you can see, it is the middle of the day. Um, it is crazy bright, sunny, and a good wind. And to me, this means one thing, that we're probably gonna try to get up in some of these weeds and uh, catch some walleyes on some live bait um, or jigging, but we'll see about that for now. Uh, but what we're gonna talk about today is mainly basically fishing weed sweet spots, right? And a lot of times, this bite has been tough, right? Um, and it's been tough to kind of locate a lot of fish up in weeds and it's been tough to get a lot of fish to bite. And because of that, what we're gonna try to do is basically find these big weed sweet spots, right? Behind me, we have a massive weed bed. A lot of ins and outs, dips, points, all sorts of stuff. Um, but what we really wanna do is we really wanna find some of these sweet spots where we can set up with, with the trolling motor and keep our bait around fish. And a lot of times these sweet spots, the tempting part about fishing these, and the great spot about fishing sweet spots when you find them, is that a lot of times you might have a huge spot like we do right behind me, but if you can find those sweet spots, it's like a constant wave of fish that might be working up and down this edge or coming out of open water, and that sweet spot's kind of like where they hold for a little bit, right, before they move. So um, we're gonna kind of walk you through that, but the first thing we're gonna do here is drive into a spot, find some fish. All right, so what we have here, I'll throw a screenshot up right here. Here's kind of a similar spot to what we're fishing, right? Very large weed flat. And the weeds kind of go up to like 13, 14 feet, kind of depending on where you are. Uh, but there's a lot of ins and outs to this stuff. So what I want to see, generally a big point or some very significant part of the weeds, right? Um, whether that's, you know, all the weeds come out uh, 10 feet and then there's a string that goes out to 16, that would be a sweet spot, right? But what we're really looking for in this spot, because I've fished here before, is a, is a big point in the weeds, where the weeds are very pronounced. So we're gonna start driving up onto this flat here. And <clears throat> we're in 25 and we're about to start kind of coming up on it. And um, what we hope to see is right kind of when we get up on this edge and uh, right on a point, something similar to like right here on the map, um, what we're hoping to see is a pot of fish there, right? And maybe we spot lock here and catch a few and wait 30 minutes, whatever, and another pot comes through. That's kind of what these sweet spots are for the most part. It's, it's a spot with more character. And we'll go ahead and take some screenshots here in a little bit. We'll show some examples in a little while, but right now we're still kind of looking. And a lot of times when I'm looking at weeds, I like to be just outside of that edge. So we're in 19 feet right now. And I'll kind of take a screenshot here, but you can see those weeds start about halfway off my right. Right, they're about halfway in there. And what we really want to see, all right, we're already seeing a little bit of it. We're already seeing a few fish just outside of this edge. But what I really want to see is, you know, a substantial amount of fish just off this weed edge. I'm kind of just now getting right up into the point. Another thing about this spot is the wind's just pounding in here today. All right, so here's a pot of fish. They're actually real close to me. They're just right off my right. The weeds are about halfway out of my right. Those fish are only about 10 feet off my right side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot for you guys of the side imaging here. Now, what you can see here is this pot of walleyes. And kind of keep in mind that the closer those fish are to you, especially in deep water, it's like taking a flashlight and shining it right here. So you don't get that crazy awesome shadow and quality a lot of times. Those fish are right next to you. I can also tell you these are probably eater-sized walleyes just from how they're marking, uh, but they're real close to us. You know, if those fish were 40, 50 feet off the right, we'd get a lot more of that shadowing. But since those fish are real close to us, we don't get that real bright thing. So now all I've done is I've looped back, and now I'm gonna grab them again. I'm a little bit farther out from where I was. The wind's coming right in like this. So I'm gonna wait till I see those fish again. And the second they show up off my left, I'm gonna spot lock. So, all right, right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll take a screenshot for you guys. I just spot locked. Now what I've done is I've basically looped around those fish. All right, there's the screenshot. I've looped around those fish, so now the fish are a little bit farther off my side here. They're about 30 feet off the left on this little weed sweet spot. So now my troll motor is gonna happen. It's gonna swing, and we're gonna be able to throw bobbers straight back or jig straight back, or whatever you wanna do straight backwards and note those fish are about halfway back. And fish on. Feels halfway decent. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice little walleye net? here. Not bad for the first walleye of the day. What we're doing here is we're just set up on a windy weed point where all the wind's coming into. And this bite has not been very good at all, but uh, doing these little things like trying to get around active ones goes a long ways. 
so instead of just kind of you know finding a nice protected spot we're kind of sitting on the pinnacle or the focal point where these fish should be active right and a lot of times you can kind of relate it to holy cow we got a lot of fish off our left here i just saw uh, side imaging but there we go anytime you can get kind of on that focal point like right out on the tip of a point those fish especially if there's wind are generally possibly going to be a little more active so let that one go generally possibly going to be a little more active got him shelby's on how do you I feel bass or it might be a bass no i'm saying walleye you? oh it might be a walleye who knows it might be a perch you definitely got a walleye fish. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh, scrapper. In the boat. Are you enjoying yourself today? Of course. It's always a dumb question. Yeah, it's a dumb question I gotta ask. Just a little one, but we're finally catching them. We are. Good work, baby. Thank you. Got him? Got him. What do you got? I'm guessing walleye. What do you think? I think it's walleye. Ooh, I don't know though. It's pretty wildly. It is a walleye. Nice baby. Nice. Getting get them. It. What do you think? Good. Whoa, whoa, I gotta what? hold the tape. You got another one? Hold the tape. We got something happening here. Oh, we're doubled up. We're gonna have to get this one on the GoPro. Shelby, show me your fish. Here you go. It's a beauty. Put it back. Now we're gonna see what this is. It's happening. You wanna... Grab the camera? Yeah. Feels like it's got some weight to her. I don't know, this might be small. Mom. I think it is a small. Mom. Yeah, it is a little small. Hey, here. Bummer. That's alright, just go catch the fish. A lot of these kind of sweet spots on these weed edges will have a little bit of everything on them. This is kind of the perfect example here. Catching a bunch of halfway decent smallies in the mix. But that's alright. I'll take it. They all like leeches this time of year. Here we go. Get them back. All right, so sweet spot. What is a sweet spot? What makes a sweet spot? Some sweet spots, there's nothing you can even tell why it's a sweet spot. You might fish the same lake enough where you kind of know like, okay, those fish are always right there. And a lot of times if you are on a new lake or lake you don't have a lot of experience on, one thing that's super helpful is whenever you see like a notable pod of walleyes, drop a waypoint, right? And then maybe after four, five, six, seven times of fishing out there, you're like, okay, those fish like to sit here. They like to sit here and they like to sit here, right? And a lot of times, you know, maybe two of those spots are on those sweet spots, like a big point or something. Maybe the third one's just an inside turn or something that you really can't tell what it is, but they like to sit there. So a lot of times waypoints and uh, repetition is kind of the way you can find these sweet spots. But you know, a lot of times you can look at a map. You know, if you have a big weed bed like we talked about, the big point that comes off it, something that looks like this right here, or you know, maybe it's uh, you know, maybe it's rocks mixed with weeds, something that looks like this right here. And a lot of times, anytime you combine two structural elements, like a point in weeds, um, rocks and weeds at the same time, a big inside cup with deep water super close to it and weeds, or rock or whatever that is, you know, those are the kind of spots that oftentimes are sweet spots. So kind of keep these things in mind. Anytime you have a lot going on in a certain area of a larger spot um, it's normally related it's gonna be a sweet spot for some kind of fish right the good part about fishing these very large spots is often that they have a huge carrying capacity right and uh, you know there's a couple ways to fish these really big spots one something that covers a lot of water where you can kind of go down the whole thing right and uh, you know like a trolling thing or a casting and drifting thing something like that otherwise your other situation um, and the bites a little bit slower today so this is what we're gonna have to do is find these pods of fish on the sweet spots and sit on them right um, so you know these huge spots are very tempting to fish and they're great to fish I have a lot of confidence in fishing the biggest spot on a lake because they have huge comparing carrying capacities for walleyes um, so yeah that's kind of the deal that's what we're doing today talk oh sorry <laughs> I just didn't want to lose it I can't tell oh it's looks good it's yeah wait I'm going nice walleye I hope I'm my optimistic. glasses taking you around yeah 
Watch, it's a pike. Be surprised it's like a 24 inch wall. He's not really like running. Dude, this is heavy. I don't know if I'm getting any line. You're not. There it goes. Nice walleye. This walleye. Look at that one. Oh, oh god. god. Good work, <laughs> Thank you. That's a nice one. That's a good one. We'll give you guys a look. Slip bobbering, the bite is finally hot again. This is a nice walleye. I am glad that we're not struggling anymore. Off the struggle bus. Yay. On the walleye. Oh. Heck yeah, dude. Into it. Fish on. Just let Shelby's nice walleye go. I think I probably have the bass on, but a little bit of everything up here in the wind. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, looks like a nice one. Do you want to go in that? I'll grab them. I'll grab okay. one. Definitely our nicest bass of the day. And normally I'm a bass snob, but I'm not complaining. We just pretty much have only been fishing this spot. And uh, a lot of these kind of, you know, we've kind of been talking about a lot of these sweet spots. And a lot of these sweet spots, is, a lot of times it's just fish kind of constantly coming through them, you know? Fish working down a huge piece of structure and swinging through and setting up right where they should be. And uh, when they are there, we're catching them. Oh, it's almost gonna get off. No, no, no. He's a wily one. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice. nice stocky little bass right up in the weeds. There's a lot of small mouth that surprisingly use weeds. Especially where there's a lot of bait. Right on this point, there's a lot of perch back there. Pretty fish, I'll let them go. See you later, buddy. Got him. Hey, Sean. What are you thinking? Probably a walleye. That'd be a walleye, right? Might be a nice one. Ooh, it is a nice walleye, Shelby. Just an angry one. Look at that guy. Oh, nice. Doing it. Getting it done. Per usual. We doing it. What do you think, Tom? I like it. It's impressive. Yes, it is. Middle of the day, tough bite. Fish are a little bit bitey out here on these weed points, so. Oh yeah. So guys, we had a great day out here. We were throwing slip bobbers out in the sweet spots. Uh, caught a lot of them. They're finally biting. It was a great day. Tom, bully out. Should I redo it? I don't think you should redo it. I don't know. I ain't an expert like you. <laughs> <laughs>